Should I do a clap? Yeah. Okay. Please. Okay. Until five years ago, I was actually working as a dancer and choreographer, also director, working with theater and in uh, TV productions. I've always written stories, but I just never showed them to anybody. <laughs> when I came home at night, I, I, do, I did my writing just for me. Five years ago, I, I showed the writing to someone, and that was it. I actually like to sit in a cafe and have people talk next to me while I'm writing. But my favorite place to write is actually in my home. I have an office where I sit in the work chair that my father used to own. I have a feeling that he's with me and uh, he was also a great lover of literature and especially good crime literature. I actually used to read Magret with my father. I, as a writer, I don't make a plot and then I choose a, a setting afterwards and put it in. So I have a vague idea of the theme, and then I go out into the city and I seek out locations. And then the story evolves from the, the setting. So for me, Copenhagen isn't just like a, a prop, a theater prop. It's much more than that. It's almost like one of my main characters. In many ways, the, the Scandinavian crime tradition, Nordic Noir, is about a very strong, character-driven novel. Like, we, we want to know the characters. They have to feel very authentic to us. And also, we do have a large part of our novels, our crime novels, that is uh, a critique of the society that we live in. Mm -hmm.